All right, guys, Dior's here. So before I start off, I just want to point out I'm using a different camera or a different phone, other than the one that I'm usually used to using. So forgive me if the audio comes in a little different or if the picture is not quite right. Like I said, this is a this is a backup phone that I don't normally use. I want to also apologize for the previous video, the filming quality for some reason. Even though I've set my phone camera in a tripod and I had it oriented the correct way that I wanted the camera to be oriented, that was horizontally, for some reason, the camera still auto-formatted the video to be filmed sideways, aka vertically, which is the bullshit mode. This, is, this right now is the correct mode. Anyhow, I don't want to get off on that too long. So we're going to be doing another MRE review. Um, this is one I can't say I've had. I can't recall if I've had. This is menu number 22, beef goulash. If I had this one, I sure as hell don't remember. It's been that long. So for video, you know, for posterity's sake and for video sake, we're just going to video document the MRE meal. Each one, I just keep track of which ones I've had. I noticed that they are doing another revisement on the menus. It looks like they have pulled out the pizza MRE, so that's a little disappointing because I really love that MRE. It was a good one. I was hoping to pick up two or three more of those because they're so difficult for me to get a hold of. So I'm slicing this open all real quick. So you can't get a look at that Julian date code. So, it starts off with a one. Not sure how well the camera's picking it up. Starts off with a one and it goes with the zero, zero, four. So that means that this was packaged in the year 2000. You know, the one means it was packaged in the year 2021. So, this is a very, very new MRE. And it was packaged literally. January of 2021, you know, the fourth day. So the 004 is the fourth day of the year, the Julian date code. So January 4th, 2021. Okay. Here's our individually wrapped spoon. Again, we ain't going to need it because off camera, I've got an old MRE spoon that I put through the dishwasher because they're dishwasher safe. Okay, what we got here? White wheat snack bread. Boy, isn't that an oxymoron? <laughs> got our accessory pack, and thank God there's a beverage-based powder in there. Looks like we got orange flavor. So basically, a little crystal light packet. Uh, I had a salt, toilet paper. Gum, moist towelette. I'll probably open that up later. Ooh, chocolate chocolate hazelnut protein drink. I have not had this one. Mm, boy, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Let's see. Sugar cookies, patriotic. So <laughs> I'm assuming patriotic means it's probably got red, white, and blue uh, sprinkles on there. Uh, let's see. Applesauce. It's not really, I guess it's just plain applesauce. Okay. I'm not really upset about that. Strawberry jam. Yay. Peanut butter. Know my rules on peanut butter. Oh, and this is chunky peanut butter, too. Oh, boy. That's going to be different. So I'll make sure I slice a little bit wider tear on this. So, rule with peanut butter. goes in the tub of hot water. And speaking of hot water, this is the MRE ration heater. We're not going to need this. Why? Because we've got our tub of hot water, and it's going to more thoroughly, quickly, and evenly heat the MRE. And then here is the actual beef goulash. Um, let's see. Manufactured day 339 of 2020. So, very tail end of 2020. So, let's 
So we're talking like basically the be I would say the first or second week of December, roughly. All right, that's gonna go in the water. That's gonna heat up, and we're gonna be cool. You know, what? I'm gonna try heating up the jam. I've never done that before. I'll heat that up. Why not? Right? Let's do this for science. And I'm gonna try to clear some of this clutter out the table. There is our cardboard sleeve. Come on, hold, damn you. Good, folded. All right. I guess we will start off with mixing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear this off, pour my water in. Hopefully this camera has a pause function. I think it does, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've used it. I'll pour in my water. Real quick, let's see. Gotta read the ingredients. I should've read the ingredients before I open this up. Do, 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 do. I think we're good. I'm not seeing anything on here listing tea or coffee on here. I don't like either one. They both taste nasty to me, so. Because <clears throat> if it has either one, I'd straight up, I will just chuck this. I won't even bother drinking it. That's how much I hate either one. All right. So I'm going to mix this up. Pause it for a bit. Save some video here. Okay, I think I got this as thoroughly mixed as I can. So, whoa, it smells about the same as the last two protein powders I had. Yeah, still some lumps in there. Didn't quite thoroughly mix. Like I said, I imagine there's some limitations to what a person can do. Even what a manufacturer can do to get this stuff just right. And even then, it might not, still might not be perfect or without flaws. So. chocolatey protein drink mix. I'm going to give it a quick sip here. Yeah, I definitely could have done a better job mixing that. That was my bad. Let's try out these cookies. Boy, aren't those all nice and busted up. Do not eat packet. I'm going to throw that away. Okay, here's our cookies. What's left of them? They're all busted up. So I think these are supposed to be like uh, American flags and different patriotic symbols, but I can't really tell because they're all busted up. Smell all right? Tastes pretty good. Kind of tastes like those uh, shortbread cookies. Hey, look at that. There's a star, at least what's left of one. Have me another sip of this. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should have mixed that better. That was mine. My bad. All right. Got my applesauce. Like I said, we're just pouring it out into the bowl because I want you guys to be able to get a chance to see this. Wow, that's actually pretty light in color. Some of these applesauces I was opening up, they're really, really dark in color. Like dark brown. They still tasted fine. And of course, a couple of them were a little off color because they had uh, other things mixed in them like that. One was a peach mango flavored applesauce from that last MRE. Is it the last MRE or the one previous? I don't remember now. Get that off camera. We don't need that there. All right. There we go. Applesauce. About as good as applesauce is going to look yep tastes like applesauce good finish the rest of this off camera go and entree All right, here we go. I said it sliced the edges because they put the perforation on the wrong side of the pouch and put it on long ways. They should put it on short ways if we're gonna use, they want us to use these uh, cardboard sleeves. Not the most appetizing sight. Not sure how well that camera's picking it up. You know, still got this bottle of Tabasco sauce. That was from two MREs ago. Yeah, not great. <laughs> not great looking. I'm going to try it. Maybe it tastes better than it looks. It smells all right. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to put that bottle of Tabasco sauce in there. As it is, it tastes fine. <clears throat> Way better than that stupid beef brisket one, I'll tell you that much. I don't know if I ever want to get that beef brisket MRE ever again. <laughs> that was a big letdown <clears throat> for those of you guys who had it you probably understand why they need to freaking include more of these tabasco sauces man All 
I don't think I even used that entire bottle. I think there's still some left in there. This is my first time having goulash with barley in it. Most of the time when I eat goulash, it's got macaroni. It's not bad. Finish the rest of this off camera. Here's our bread. peanut butter and I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting that freaking strawberry that's clear down the bottom of that tub ah the water's too hot <laughs> can't fish it out I'm gonna have to fish that out off camera Whoop, got a little bit of peanut butter on the table. That peanut butter is kind of a pain in the ass to get out of that envelope. Pack it. Whatever you want to call it. Give me one moment. I'm going to pause this so that way I can get the stupid jelly out without burning my fingers. All right. Got our strawberry jam packet retrieved out of that water. I absolutely was not expecting that to sink clear to the bottom. This is going to be messy as hell to eat. <clears throat> no joke. Here we go. Bottoms up. Mmm. Not bad. Take what's open up this here accessory pack so I can grab that crystal light packet. Again, they don't call this crystal light, they just call it beverage base orange type 
three, but this is basically a crystal light. Probably don't have near enough water in this here friggin' bottle, so it's gonna be a strong, strong mix. Now, what did I do with that bottle cap? No, I let it fall to the floor like a smart person. All right, looks like a nicely chemically induced orange. Not bad though. Absolutely not bad. What are my thoughts on this MRE? I would say probably about, I would say three and a half, solid three and a half on this one. This is a good one. This is a really good one. If I got this one again, it had the exact same side dishes. I would not complain. Were the cookies a little beaten up? Yeah. Was this uh, meal missing some uh, additional spices? Like, I don't know, like a packet of hot sauce, maybe a miniature bottle of Tabasco sauce? Yes. Or maybe some crushed pepper would be all right. But other than that, I think, you know, I, I'd be okay with this. That's pretty much all I've got. I don't want this video dragging too long. I'm Dior, and I'm out. You guys have yourselves a good one. Bye-bye.